Good morning, wrestling fans. Welcome to another episode. Today is January 22nd, 2023. I am your host, Lance Brock, as always. Thank you for tuning in to GMWF right here on Spreaker or wherever else you listen to. First, I just want to start off by saying just a little bit ago, I finished watching Pro Wrestling Noah's final bye-bye to the Great Muda show. I will be talking about that show hopefully sometime, maybe tonight. That's the plan so far, maybe tonight on 360 Wrestling Fanatic. But I'm sure I will do it eventually if plans for some reason don't work out. But stay tuned to 360 Wrestling Podcasts for the recap of the Great Muda Final Bye Bye, which featured the main event, the Great Muda teaming up with Sting and Darby Allen to take on Akira. Hakushi and Marafuji in a six man tag that main evented the show. But for now, I'm going to talk about the most recent Monday Night Raw I attended live. Talked about two of the other ones the last couple days but my most recent scene raw live at Little Caesars Arena now took place the taping was December 28th 2018 I think I mentioned this on the podcast yesterday that New Year's Eve was on Monday that year and Smackdown was still on Tuesdays at the time so that aired on New Year's Day so a lot of times for that like the holiday episodes they tape them the weekend before And this one, I think I already talked about yesterday a little bit, not the whole show, but we kicked things off with a steel cage match. Drew McIntyre taking on Dolph Ziggler. And McIntyre gets the win. And I want to say after the match. McIntyre slammed the door of the cage onto the head of Dolph Ziggler. Which reminds me, just to kind of drift away just for a little bit here. Back in 2015, there was a time when Raw was here at Joe Louis Arena. And... Unfortunately, I was not able to make it to that Raw. But earlier today, earlier in the day, I should say, Dolph Ziggler did an autograph signing at the Cricket Wireless here in Taylor and was able to go to the signing. Meet him. Was a very nice guy. And... Had to wait in line for, and I got there early too. Still, the line was wrapped around the building, but definitely worth it. He was a really good guy. I actually brought a WWE calendar for him to sign, and he saw that he was on the month of May, and he said, I hate May. So there's a fun fact. Dolph Ziggler hates May. Also, Apollo Crews. Defeated Baron Corbin, Bo Dallas, 
Kurt Hawkins, Curtis Axel, Finn Balor, The Grand Matalik, Kalisto, and Connor, and Lindsay Dorado, Mojo Rally, No Way Jose, Titus O'Neil, Victor, Zack Ryder, in a battle royal to become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. That's quite a mouthful there. And we have a six-woman tag up next. Bailey, Ember Moon, and Sasha Banks defeat the Riot Squad. The team of Liv Morgan, Ruby Wyatt, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan. Bobby Lashley with Leo Rush in his corner at the time defeated Seth Rollins via disqualification. Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers defeated Heath Slater and Rhino in a handicap match. And we have the match that Apollo Crews earned the title match for on the same night for the Intercontinental Champion taking on Dean Ambrose. Ambrose was victorious in this one. And women's tag team action next. Natalia Nightheart and Ronda Rousey taking on Nia Jackson to Mina. Getting the win there. That was the main event. Also on the show, which was the first Raw of 2019. And the dark match, we had for the Intercontinental Championship. This is the dark match after Raw, just in case you're wondering. For the Intercontinental Championship, Dean Ambrose taking on Seth Rollins in a cage match. I remember during one of the commercial breaks that they actually did announce this kind of, I'm guessing to get everybody to stay after they did actually announce this cage match was going on after And I would say for a non-televised match in a cage, very good, actually. I'd say if this was maybe like a pay-per-view match, no, they didn't do anything real special or that spectacular. But like I said, this is just a post-show dark match. And for that, it was pretty good. Ambrose gets the win to send the crowd home happy, retaining the IC title against his former Shield teammate, Seth Rollins. So, very good show, I thought. The, as far as, like, the TV, yeah, it was pretty good. Like I said before on the other two episodes is that for me anyway just being there live for a show can make like any show really even if it's just kind of a so-so show being there live can make it better because it's always more exciting being there live and without the commentary you kind of have to pay attention more so overall it was an entertaining night and also there was the main event tapings right now I don't remember what matches were on there though but I 
I definitely remember that dark match. That was very good with Rollins and Ambrose in the cage. So that's Raw from January 1st, 2019. That was taped December 28th, 2018. Did I say that right? I meant, did I say 2018 the first time? Yeah, I don't remember. With the old age, it's hard to remember. But, and now, tomorrow night, Raw is 30, the 30th anniversary of Monday Night Raw. Don't remember if I mentioned this on the podcast yet, but... On SmackDown Friday night, they added the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and IRS, Erwin R. Scheister. And one thing I'm interested in seeing is if IRS being there and if Bray Wyatt is on the show, if they'll have them interact at all. Because as far as I can remember... They have never actually mentioned on TV that IRS Mike Rotundo is the father of Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas. Well, actually, I don't think they've even mentioned that Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas are brothers. At least not that I can remember anyway. Who knows, I might be wrong, but I can never remember them mentioning them being brothers and the sons of Mike Rotundo, IRS. So hopefully it will be a good show tomorrow night. Raw is 30. We'll definitely have a recap of that. And stay tuned. As of right now, the plan is for later tonight sometime. 360 Wrestling Fanatic. The recap of the Great Muda final bye-bye show. Presented by Pro Wrestling Noah. Stay tuned right here on this feed. 360 Wrestling Podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode of GMWS. As it is snowing right now as I'm walking to work on a Sunday, I'm going to have to shovel, but like I said, hope everyone listening has a great Sunday. Until next time, keep watching pro wrestling.